Hey Swarmers, welcome back to The Hive. Have you ever wondered what happens to all of the electronic stuff in your life that has become junk after you throw it away? According to the UN University, every year the world produces approximately 50 million metric tons of electronic, or E, waste. This includes computers, monitors, laptops, cell phones, TVs, stereos, kitchen appliances, plugs and cables, among lots of other things. Our ever-increasing demand for the newest, fastest devices and the latest technology, and retailers' rush to provide as well as stir this demand, has created what the executive director of the UN Environmental Program has called a tsunami of e-waste rolling out over the world. To put this into perspective, 50 million metric tons is more than the combined weight of all the commercial aircrafts ever made. Looks like 4,500 Eiffel Towers is enough to completely cover an area the size of Manhattan and is roughly worth 62.5 billion US dollars. And only around 20% of global e-waste is ever formally recycled. Most of the remaining 80% is incinerated, releasing dangerous chemicals as well as CO2 into the air. Or it goes straight to landfill, where chemicals and heavy metals can seep into the ground and ultimately contaminate our drinking water supplies as well as other bodies of water where it will inevitably cause damage to marine ecosystems. Some e-waste finds its way around the world to be disassembled by hand or burned by the world's poorest workers in order to access valuable materials such as gold and copper. This crude form of urban mining has harsh consequences for people's health and well-being, and creates untold pollution as dangerous chemicals are again released into the air, seep into the ground, and contaminate water. Direct exposure of workers and people in the surrounding areas to lead, cadmium, brominated flame retardants, and PCBs poses extreme health risks, particularly to children. Additionally, there is the risk of injury during the salvaging and dismantling of items by hand. Agba Bloshi in Ghana and Guiyu in China, which was once known as the e-waste capital of the world, are two of the most notorious of these e-waste dumping sites. So, how do you stop a tsunami? As the world slowly wakes to the reality of the fastest growing refuse stream of this century, international calls for action are becoming louder and more vocal. UN agencies have come together as the UN E-Waste Coalition to call for an overhaul of the current electronic system and countries like Nigeria are kicking off initiatives to create circular e-waste systems. Manufacturers like Apple are slowly devising more efficient and safe recycling methods like Daisy, a robot designed to disassemble iPhones and reclaim the valuable metals inside. But what can we do as individuals? We've become conditioned by the retail biz to want the next, best, brightest thing. And not only that, we should want it yesterday. So, the first thing to do when deciding to replace an electronic device is think about whether it needs replacing at all. Are you picking up the latest iPhone because your old one can't make calls anymore? Or because Apple just released a new one? Do you need a new fridge because the color is so last year, or because it's no longer keeping your food cool? If you decide to replace still functioning items, consider resale or donation before throwing them out. If you can make back a buck or save one for someone in need, it's always a more sustainable choice than disposal. Recycle your waste items properly. Be sure to check out the guidelines for your community. Do a quick search and plant a tree with Ecosia and find out what can and can't be recycled, along with what items can be left curbside and what items need to be taken to a drop-off center. Check out Green Disc. In the US, they offer an e-waste solution service that includes a collection box, all transportation, the destruction of content on media, and recycling of your techno trash. In NYC, we learned that many retailers will actually accept e-waste for recycling and safe disposal, including Best Buy and Staples. 
Just check with your local stores to see what and how much they'll accept. Also, did you know New York State law requires all wireless carriers to accept cell phones for recycling free of charge? Yup, so definitely take advantage of that. Check out Grow NYC for more info on NYC e-waste recycling, including what to do with everything from batteries to air conditioners. It's pretty amazing to learn with a quick internet search and a little bit of consideration that there's so much we as individuals can do to stop the rising tides of e-waste. So please do the same wherever you are. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to The Swarm for all the latest in learning to live your most sustainable life.